welcome to another video of war pls video series in the previous videos we talked about the five steps of war pls then we talked about how to conduct our simple and uh, multiple regression analysis in this video we will talk about how to perform the power analysis or the sample requirement for a sem analysis now Let's just suppose that you have already created this uh, SAM model and we are going to conduct it. So we have performed this SAM analysis. So here are the results. Now, first of all, we'll have to go and see that how much sample we have already used. So you can go to this view, view general results. And if we scroll down, you're going to see the sample size that we have already used. The sample size is the 376 respondents. So let's just close it and see how we can determine if our sample size is right or if it is sufficient or not sufficient. Now, in order to do that, you have to go to this uh, explore option in the main uh, window. So let's just go to explore and see that this is the uh, window in which we will be analyzing our sample size or we will be analyzing our uh, power of the sample. Now, in order to fill these boxes or uh, if you want to know that how much sample uh, is the appropriate sample for the kind of uh, model that you've just uh, analyzed, uh, we need to go back to our SAM analysis which we have uh, just performed and here you have to be very careful in looking at different paths. It can be, uh, for example, in this model, we have three paths, one, two, and three. It can be as complicated as uh, any number of paths. But what we will have to see here is that we will have to go with the least value from all the paths of the beta. So least value of the beta, suppose, uh, if we have this path, one, two, and then three paths. So the value in this path is 0.64 and it's significant. The value in this path is 0.44 and it is also significant. The value here is 0 0.49 and this is also significant. What we have to pick from here is the least significant value of any of the path of this uh, model. So from these three paths, we have the least value which is significant that is 0 0.44. So we'll go back to our uh, main window and we'll go to our explore window and we will put the minimum absolute significant path coefficient in model. And this can range from 0 0.01 to 0 0.99, but make sure that it is significant. So here we can go with 0.44 because this was the least significant uh, path in our model. Significance level that we want is uh, by default 0 0.05 and that is the right one. The power is optional but what we can do is we can uh, take it to the maximum in order to increase our accuracy. So it can go from 0 0.5 to 0 0.99. So let's just take 0 0.99 and just run the analysis clicking outside these boxes. Now it is saying that at this beta level and at this significance level and at this power level required, which is the ideal, these both things are ideal right now, you require a sample of 82 respondents according to one formula, which is inverse square root method. Minimum required sample size is 82. So if you talk about the gamma uh, exponential method, minimum required sample is 60. We were using about 376. So that is more than enough. That is more than sufficient. So this is how uh, you can analyze uh, your uh, power analysis or the requirement of your sample for uh, different types of SAM analysis that you use in WARP PLS. Thank you very much.